Hi guys, um, I'm just going to do my next video on my urine analysis series and today I'm going to be talking about specific gravity. This will be a really quick video because it's really easy to understand and um, there's not really much to it. Okay, so specific gravity it used to be called um, relative density and I, I suppose in some countries it might still be called that. Um, so it basically just shows how concentrated the urine is. So you can just think of it as in juice like Ribena that you have to um, add water to and if it's just Ribena on its own with no water it's really really concentrated and if you add more and more and more and more water it becomes less concentrated so that's basically what specific gravity is so if you have a specific gravity score of 1 that or 1.0 um, that is basically just water you're just peeing out water um, so if it's really really diluted like that or a really low concentration it might be that they've just drunk a lot of water they might be drinking and drinking and drinking um, but it could also mean that they have kidney failure failure now this is because um, the kidneys aren't properly they won't they can't properly um, filter the blood to get proper um, urine with all the toxins that are in the blood in it which means that it will just pee out water all the time um, and it will be really really diluted and, and a very low concentration um, however it's also um, means that you have loads of toxins left in the blood so it can also be really dangerous and you'll have other symptoms of that as well obviously um, because of all the toxins that are left um, but you know you, you need to get the patient history and you need to talk to the patient and say you know have you drunk any water today or um, how much do you drink on average um, and they'll be able to tell you that um, and you get quite a clear indication from that um, okay so if it's a really high concentration if the urine is very dark if it's very smelly you can usually tell without even the score um, it could be a sign of dehydration most likely if they haven't had any water so it's just the opposite of if you have loads of water if you don't have any water you're not you, you have a really really um, high concentration of urine um, because you just don't have that water to, to dilute it. Um, so again, that's quite easy to treat, give them fluids. Um, again, it's that patient assessment asking them what they've been doing, what, what they've been drinking. Um, it could also be a symptom of hyperglycemia. And now obviously if there's lots of um, sugar in, in the blood, the kidneys are just gonna be like um, getting that sugar out and um, wanting to to get rid of that and I've, I've already shown you the video in I've already done a glucose video sorry um, and you can watch that to get more understanding of hyperglycemia and what it is um, but obviously when you're testing the urine and it's it's high concentration you'll see if it's hyperglycemia by the glucose levels um, so you don't necessarily have to be having this thought process in your mind but obviously hyperglycemia and um, a high concentration of urine go hand in hand. Um, so I hope that video helps you guys and I'll be making a new video soon hopefully. Um, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye!